Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to 4 StarCraft 2 Strategy, your number one location for step-by-step -step strategy and tutorial videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Zerg strategy. Basically what we're going to be looking at is going ahead and getting a nice respond or a preparation for the possibility of our Terran opponent going for Mass Reapers. So this is a Zerg versus Terran strategy. Um, now in this particular strategy replay, the Zerg player that we're looking at is Hydra and the Terran player is Tarsen. Both very strong professional players, uh, both entering in a lot of tournaments and both doing very well. Um, so again, this in this Zerg strategy, we're going to be preparing for um, and responding to that fast reaper by getting speedlings, um, going ahead and getting an expansion once our speedlings are up, um, because once we have speedlings, it's going to be very hard for those fast reapers, even with that upgrade. While we're on creep, it's going to be very hard for them to kite around the speedlings. We're basically going to be able to catch up to them, get a nice surround, use that stop command from, to stop them from pushing through our speedlings, um, and take them down very quickly. Uh, so the build that we're going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at that basic Zerg opener um, that allows us uh, to open up the avenue of the most amount of decisions early in the game. Uh, what does that mean? What am I saying there? Uh, basically that opener is getting that extractor right before that spawning pool saturating that extractor and once that um, spawning pool comes up that's when we have our, our multitude of choices there um, that's when we can go ahead and choose to get those speedlings or we can go ahead and get a roach worn and use all that vespian that we've gathered on roaches or we can upgrade to that layer tech um, of course the other option is the banelings nest if uh, we're seeing a, a big bio ball from our terran opponent or if we want to do that ever popular ever fun baneling bust um, so again here we did get that extractor at 14 we followed that up with the spawning pool um, and then we're going to be saturating that extractor of course to get that vespian and be at that 100 vespian once that spawning pool is done hatching um, and then at that point we'll make our decision as to what we want to do with that vespian we have gathered so now moving forward with our uh, drone getting that ever ever strong ever necessary scouting information i'm not taking a look at vision here you're going to see exactly what we can see here moving up we do see that barracks and we also see that tech lab building now that's going to tell us a lot right there um, early on seeing a barracks with a tech lab um, that basically tells you the possibility of seeing those early reapers is very very high uh, because his other option is to go for early marauders but that doesn't make a lot of sense versus zerg um, marauders aren't very strong versus zerg early on because zerglings do very well against marauders so i mean they're not liable to go for early marauders now of course marauders are going to be strong versus zerg once we have roaches but going for a fast marauder as terran versus zerg opponent doesn't make a lot of sense so seeing that early tech lab on this barracks that kind of tells you that you're likely to be seeing reapers um, of course the other possibility is that maybe he was spilling a factory and he just wanted to do a little swap after the factory was done building uh, but he wouldn't have had a tech lab on that quickly if he was going for this factory um, now what we did in moving up and seeing that barracks and seeing that tech lab um, our response was twofold first we started building a queen to help with early defense against reapers and then of course we get that uh, metabolic boost upgrade because we want those speedlings as quickly as possible to handle these reapers that we're going to be seeing and we also of course went ahead and put that extractor because um, we did have this vespian geyser that had not had a refinery on it at the time being um, now the reason we did that this is very good and very uh you know very strong harass either way it's going to allow you to see their base it's going to prevent them from getting that second refinery uh, but the particular reason we did that and knowing that we're going to be seeing these reapers is because going for this fast reaper build is very very gas intensive um, so denying them that second geyser is going to really set them back and getting that mass amount of reapers there um, so as you can see, he is moving forward. We have dropped that uh, that fast expansion, like I said, we were planning to do. Um, now we're going to be moving up, and as you can see, we have speed links here, so he's kind of forced to push back. Again, re fast reapers are very strong versus Zerg up until the point that we have speed links. And as you can see, the Zerg links here do have those beautiful wings on them. Uh, they do have that extra speed upgrade, and so we're going to be able to basically harass and get a nice surround um, on these reapers. Now, of course, we did lose them there due to some excellent micro from our Terran opponent, but it doesn't really take much to reinforce, and then, then we can move forward, get that surround, um, and we're going to be dropping those Reapers pretty quickly at that point. So now, of course, we are at this advantage. Um, we have our expansion now is up. Uh, we're coming out with that Roach Warren, and there it is. And then we are also starting to upgrade to our layer. So we're really, you know, we're really in a strong position right now. Uh, he decided to go for those fast reapers. In seeing that, we responded with those very quick speed links. Um, and so now he's kind of sitting at this point where, you know, he's still he can't. He's kind of gone all in. I mean, he's vested the resources and again that speed upgrade. So he's 
obviously going to be sticking with this build for the most part. Um, but these Reapers right now at this point, again, with those speedlings, aren't going to do too much. They can kite us around um, much better off the creep. But as you can see here, this is really strong. What we're going to be doing is we move forward, we kind of surround them, and then we use that stop command once we are, have a complete surround on them. And that stops them from being able to push through your units. And that's something you really want to learn to do. Um, the better you can get at something like that, the better you are going to be at winning those small little battles that can be decisive, especially this early on in the game. Um, so taking a look at the uh, the Terran player here, as you can see, again, he's sticking with this build. He's put so much into it already, there's really no reason not to. And he's also kind of forced at this point to try to get that expansion because he sees that we have one up. And if he waits too long for an expansion, uh, he, he has two options, either to play on one base and try to push out and take us out um, by devoting all of his resources to that, or to go ahead and expand to catch up because if he falls too far behind in the economy and he's not able to take us out early, um, he is going to lose the game. But again, we do have, I mean, we have some sort of saturation. We're not fully saturated here, but we do have some, some gathering coming from this expansion, so we are taking advantage of that economic advantage. Um, we are, we're taking advantage of that economic advantage. That sounds funny. Um, we're, we're taking advantage of this opportunity um, to mass up an army and try to push out and uh, basically hit him before he gets too, too many marauders. Um, once he starts to mass up those marauders, they're going to do very well against his roaches. But up until that point, this mass amount of roaches is going to be able to quite handily take care of any reapers that he has. Um, again, you can see right here, he's only sitting on two marauders at the moment. Um, so we're gonna we should be able to do very well in this push. Uh, now, of course, like always, if you're gonna be going for a strong push and trying to take them out early, you'd want to make sure your production buildings are rallied to your opponent's base so that you do have immediate backup while you're pushing forward. What we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be moving forward with these speed links, putting them into the mineral line, and then kind of using our roaches as a wall. Um, now, once he does move forward to try to fully engage, we're gonna be moving our speed links down, uh, trying to engage these units, trying to get a surround on them and take them out. Um, now at this point he did have a chance to um, basically take out all of our units early, but again because of those reinforcements that we had sent up here, um, we're going to be able to swing the, uh, the tide of that battle in our favor even though we're in his base and he's got that faster and he has that faster backup ability because of these production buildings being so close to where the battle is. Um, with that rallied with that rallied production buildings that we had into his base, coupled with that extra mineral advantage that we had from this faster expansion, um, we were able to take him out. Uh, again, so basically what we're looking at here is that, that speedling into roach response to those fast reapers, uh, that fast reaper into marauder, and then hitting out with kind of a, a mass amount of roaches and speedlings before he's able to get up too many marauders. We don't want him to get to that critical mass, um, especially when he has the stim pack upgrade, which would have been coming shortly thereafter. So taking a look at the build order here, we started off uh, with that getting that zerg opening, that opens up that avenue to the most amount of possibilities with that uh, extractor before the spawning pool. Now in that getting that scouting information and seeing that uh, fast barracks with the tech lab early on that kind of tells us again that uh, reapers are going to be very likely. So we stole that gas there. We get that speedling upgrade. We also started building our first queen. Um, now once we were able to fend off that first reaper harassment with our speedlings we went ahead and we dropped our hatchery um, and taking advantage of that economic uh, boon from that we got our uh, roach worn up we started massing out roaches and then we pushed out um, ideally before he gets too too many marauders um, again we don't want him to get to any sort of a critical mass where he's going to be able to take out our roaches handedly uh, so yeah guys again this has been four starcraft 2 strategy if you guys like our videos here and you like what we're doing please do go ahead and subscribe to our channel keep watching and keep owning guys metabolic boost finishes then we're going to want to transition into something else but again, up until that point, this is going to be very, very strong. And in fact, in this particular replay, uh, we end up doing so much damage with these Reapers that he's forced to call a good game. It just takes too much of an economic hit and is unable to handle it. Um, so still producing more Reapers.